Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to talk about the importance of creating images for submitting them for uh, various photographic competitions. It's gonna be a short video but very informative. Many years ago I started entering my images into photographic competitions and what I was doing is I was digging into my portfolio trying to pick some images that I believed were great and I never won anything. I was never recognized until I realized that I have to style my own shoots uh, uh, for those competitions based on criteria that judges are looking for. And today here in my studio we are doing a styled shoot uh, for a competition. There are lots of work goes into the process of styling a shoot. Um, for example, today we're working on uh, one of my botanical beauty projects and we named it Red Flame because we're using red flowers. Uh, here is our beautiful Solange. Um, she is wearing a um, beautiful hat that is made of real flowers by our talented florist Irina Shulzhenka and Irina also designed a top uh, for Solange. Uh, Solange is also wearing a designer skirt. This skirt was designed specifically for the shoot by Ina Rudenko and this is not a uh, complete work with Irina. She is still working. Uh, let me show you where is our Irina and what she is doing. So she's still working on um, adding more flowers to Solange's body. Irina, she's been working on uh, this floral composition since 4 a.m. Uh, there's lots of work uh, goes into creating a floral piece uh, like Solange is wearing now. Uh, we started this whole project a month ago from brainstorming what we're doing, what the idea is. Uh, we created a mood board and we talked to uh, designers, um, the designer's dress, we talked to Solange, of course. Uh, Irina was um, spent so many hours on creating a sketch for what she has done today and a makeup artist who worked on Solange's look today. She did her hair and her makeup. Juliana, she did an amazing work. Uh, I love working with Juliana. Uh, her makeup style is flawless and just beautiful. Uh, Irina, she also designed this beautiful earring and this earring as well. Me. <laughs> uh, everything is made of real flowers. Uh, the hat is absolutely beautiful. And here is what we have on the back. And again, we're going to add a little bit more details in for the complete look. And we're going to start in a little bit. We also had to prepare different props for the shoot. For example, I had to pin this whole wall. Uh, I did it two weeks ago. We also found this beautiful furniture piece that was painted specifically for the shoot uh, to match the overall look. And um, this beautiful vintage piece, I think that's gonna add to the to the to the image as well. So she is also going to hold a cigarette holder with a cigarette today. And yeah, that's how it's going to look. It's very important to plan ahead and know what you're doing. Uh, pay attention to details and also follow the criteria that the judges are looking for, such as uh, technical excellence or lighting, composition, uh, color balance, and many other criteria. You don't have to follow all of them. Um, master some and each year just try to add on. Uh, that's how I did and every year you just try to perfect uh, your images, try to do better 
Myself, I haven't mastered all the criteria yet and each year I received valuable feedbacks from judges uh, uh, regarding areas I have to work on and I try to do better each year and perfect my craft. I usually submit each year to uh, two major competitions, that is IPC, International Photographic Competition, organized by PPA and WPPI. And if you want to learn how to submit it, please leave a comment and I'll make another video for you. And that was it for today. That was a short video just about the importance of creating images for competitions. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video and I'll see you next time.